Hi and welcome to another 5 minute tutorial about material and this time a new feature that is called Thin Film and that is something that came with Blender 4.2 so let me show you how that works so we can take a UV sphere as an example so shift A and then we go to mesh select the UV sphere and then we scale it down by pressing S and go to object shade smooth so we have it in now we are almost finished we need some type of material and in this material we will now change transmission to 1 we will change the roughness to 0 and now we have this ball of glass here but we are now going to use thin film and thin film is like the extra layer that you get on like a soap bubble or when you have a pool of oil so you get these different colors of purple and red and blue and so on that you could fake in previous uh, versions of blender but now it's built in into the principle so here we have thickness and that is in nanometers so thousand in thickness is one millimeter uh, if we're going to do this as a soap bubble, then we can use an IR uh, index of refraction of 1.7 around, something like that, and a thickness of like 400. But you don't see so much change right now, and that is because the index of refraction here and the index of refraction that is the, like the standard, they are like working together. So to really see this, it could be so that you have to take down the index of refraction that you have for your glass or water or whatever in the beginning. Uh, so in this case, it's right now only the thin film that works because I have index of refraction one and that means that the glass is just right see through. So it's like a yeah transparent thing, but we then get the bending of the rays in only the th uh, thin film here so that is why that works right now and now you can see that we get this green uh, purple and uh, red stuff here so you can see it clearly when it gets a little bit darker here and so on and it's also controlled as i said by the index of refraction here so if i change that you can see that it changes so with one we don't have anything we take up a little bit it comes here and it works just as any index of refraction so it bends all the rays so that is also why we get this uh, variation in color here so that is how it works there are some limitations in it currently and one is that it does not work with metallic so if we work with metallic it goes away it doesn't work with EV either so right now it's only in cycles that have this amazing thing that is called thin film but other than that it should be working and the only thing that you need to think about is the one that I mentioned before that this index of refraction is then combined together with this index of refraction so it could be that you don't see it so clearly if you have this index refraction too high but this is how it works so it's a rather simple uh, lesson for you it's just a new thing that uh, comes in and can be handy to use in a different occasion when you would like to do as this soap bubble or something similar so i just say bye for now and see you later